day three. Today we're going to be exploring around North Fresno, starting off with the Copper Trail and then moving on to Willow, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Starting off the day here at Woodward Lakes. Real nice neighborhood across the street from Woodward Park. Woodward Park is where all the nicest bike trails in Fresno are. Problem with those bike trails is they serve no function other than recreation, so I decided to save the best for last. We will be hitting the Lewis Eaton Trail in Woodward Park for episode number five. But for episode number three, we are going to be exploring every other trail in North Fresno. So starting off, we are going to be hitting the Copper Trail. To get there, there is this little secret bike trail that takes you outside out of Woodward Lakes and out onto Fry and Copper to the Copper River Trailhead. Although I don't know why they put this trailhead across the street from the trail. On the left, we have a lot of new development. Um, I know I gave, I, I talked a lot of smack on Clovis and many people in Fresno would probably put this side of Fresno in the same category as Clovis, but at least there's some attempt at dense housing. Uh, here we have what looks to be three-story apartment buildings. They're definitely not going to be um, affordable, uh, but it's not as bad as Clovis, which goes all the time against a lot of the housing requirements and fights against um, anything resembling dense housing. On the left, it looks like this will be a bunch of uh, restaurants and shopping and more housing soon. This is the northernmost point of Fresno, so we have almost maxed out on how far we can sprawl the city within the current city limits. Moving down the Copper Trail, so this is going to end on Chestnut, and then there will be a gap between Chestnut and Willow. And why does the bike trail not go all the way? Well, they're waiting on those neighborhoods to be built because that's how bike trails get built in Fresno. They have a nice neighborhood, and then they just put a little pavement outside of it to kind of create the illusion of uh, being a nice, bikeable neighborhood. Look how beautiful this day is. Oh, my God. All right, getting started on the Willow Trail. We were on this trail uh, last episode, and we took it all the way to Old Town Clovis. Instead, this time we are going to keep going straight. On the right, we have Clovis North, and up ahead, it looks like we have either a PE class or a sports team, um, but they must have heard me listening to Luda because they got out the way. Across the way, we got UC Willow, a.k.a. Willow International, or at least that's what it used to be called. Now it's called Clovis Community College, even though it's not located in Clovis. So, yeah, this is a pretty nice college. They have, uh, to my right, their main building, and then up ahead, their um, the second building that they expanded with. This was built in the late 2000s, so it was very new. I had a great experience here and at Fresno City College. The teachers at both Clovis Community and Fresno City did a much better job than the teachers at Fresno State. I found that to be very strange, but... Apparently, I am not the only one that feels this way. Approaching Willow and Shepherd, which is where we turned off on the last episode. Except this time, instead of going on the Old Town Trail, we're going to go straight on Willow and then make a right at some point to keep looping around North Fresno. Let's go. Still hella farms. Bro, I gotta beat the bus. That is the tunnel that takes you down the Old Town Trail. 
and we are just going to keep going down Willow and see how far it goes. It does cut off at, um, I believe, Chestnut. And then at that point, we will be riding street side to connect to the Herndon Trail. So just to recap what trails we're doing and which ones we've done so far, um, we went down the entirety of the Copper River Trail, one of the newest trails in town that is uh, obviously not at its full completion. And this is the border right here between Fresno and Clovis. I call it the Invisible Wall of Willow. Uh, Willow is one of the uh, the main Fresno Clovis border streets. Okay, so yeah, this is the end of the Willow Trail, and we did the Copper Trail. So we got two more trails that we're going to be hitting today, and both of them are going to be um, incomplete or imperfect. But before we get there, we got to ride street side a little bit, and look at this. This is as Fresno as it gets. Suburbs on one side and a tractor on the other. <laughs> so this was really nice and you like seeing as much of this as possible. Um, these uh, green painted lanes take away all the ambiguity for both cyclists and automobiles. Making it across the way. Woo! No matter what you paint, it's still scary as shit when somebody jams past you that fast. All right, so if I was riding really fast on the sidewalk and they pulled out at the same time, that would not be good. So that is one of the disadvantages of riding on the sidewalk. I know I was on the sidewalk for quite a bit on the first episode, but that was for different reasons. Um, but yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to go slow as I documented all these bike rides. Um, but yeah, made it out safe and I'm here narrating, right? So we're right next to... Uh, Dry Creek Elementary, which is down the street from my elementary, Maple Creek Elementary. And Dry Creek is also the name of the trail we will be doing in the next episode. Here at Herndon and Maple, at one of the only places Maple dead ends, it goes into an apartment complex and a school, I think. So then the trail goes that way, but we're still going to have to cross the street every time. And then the opposite direction, I believe that goes until, I believe that goes until Chestnut. Let's go. So the trail had nice autumn colors, but it was pretty bumpy. So if you were uh, riding something with uh, thin tires, it probably would be kind of frustrating to be um, on this pavement. But at the same time, Riding on Herndon is a complete no-go. Like, even if you're a hardcore cyclist, it's uh, pretty difficult to uh, justify riding street side on Herndon. And um, I'm fairly certain it's illegal for a lot of stretches on Herndon. But, yeah. Caddy corner from here, we got St. Agnes Hospital. This is where I came into existence back in the day. And we are also going to be going by uh, one of my childhood neighborhoods. It is a really nice neighborhood um, and certainly was when I was growing up. But at one point, my parents' car got stolen right out of their driveway. It was pretty much a brand new car, and it was just a clean, easy uh, swipe. Um, and yeah, I mean, I can go on a whole spiel about <laughs> car theft in Fresno. Moving towards the Bond Trail. This one was named after James Bond when he came to Fresno for inspiration for one of his... Okay, I'm bullshitting. This is just... The, the, the name is just Bond Avenue or Bond Street. And this trail goes back towards Lincoln and Kasner and it loops um, past First and Nice and towards River Park. This is where the Hyundai got taken right out of the driveway. That was a uh, very interesting... I just finished a shift at Outback Steakhouse. And I walked in and I was like, Mom, Dad, where's your car? <laughs> uh, good times. All right. Across the way, we got 
Lincoln Elementary and Kasner Intermediate. So you can see this trail is really incredible. It links a lot of medical offices, a lot of neighborhoods, and schools. This kind of exemplifies um, a trail that allows you to walk to your entire life. Problem is it didn't really materialize that way. All right, so my camera died here, um, and here is some footage of the Bond Trail as it loops behind Save Mart on the intersection of First and Nice. And then you, as you approach First Street, you have to cross the way, and then the trail continues. This apartment complex is now gated off, and the last portion of the trail is more of a rocky gravel pit between um, this mobile home park and this apartment complex but it does take you out onto fresno street and then across the way is the trail that we started off on episode one only here for a second though gonna make a loop around river park and go through pinedale i wanted to uh, um, i was originally thinking about hitting some of the uh, portions of the herndon trail i was thinking about hitting um, there's a secret trail on Audubon by the San Joaquin River, but I wouldn't really get to cover any significant stretch. Um, moving down to, we're going on Ingram, and we're going to be passing by one of my old apartments. And it looks uh, like this dude's got some of his belongings uh, on the sidewalk, so we'll just go around him real quick. And then here on the left... Look at this guy, living in 2040. Um, wow. <laughs> he squeezed right into that gutter for that right turn, so shout out to him for the audacity. <laughs> Making our way down to River Park. So this pretty much does it. Um, we're going to be approaching uh, the early portions of the Sugar Pine Trail that connect River Park to the starting point from the last episode on Millbrook and Nice. And I also used to work here. Um, I was a delivery driver for the me and Eds here. And I literally carried them out of the recession. One pizza pie at a time. Um, witnessed something extremely controversial here. Blurred out his face, but he dropped this ranch. He dropped this ranch. I'm no legal expert, but I'm pretty sure dropping me in Ed's ranch is a felony. So, blurred his face out. I don't want him getting in trouble, but that was very, very disturbing to see. And, yeah, that's just kind of some of the things you got to see on the streets of Fresno. Another thing you have to see is me scarfing down this pizza at the stoplight. I um, turned off the audio and fast-forwarded so that you wouldn't have to hear all the uh, disgusting sounds from that. <laughs> All right, just passing under the uh, 41, and up ahead, we got the last tunnel of this journey. Excuse me. Okay. You want to get Since today's bike ride featured a lot of trails, here's a little recap of everywhere we've been so far. First, we went to Woodward Lakes, then we hit a little secret trail to get onto the Copper River Trailhead, then took the Copper River Trail down to Willow, then took the Willow Trail to Alluvial, rode street side for a little bit to get to the Herndon Trail, then we took that to the top secret Bond Trail, and rode the Bond Trail as much as possible. After looping around River Park and Pinedale, finishing up here on Sugar Pine. Okay, I lied. This is the last tunnel of the series, and this will take us right out onto Millbrook and Shepherd, where we started things off last time. And for the next episode, we are going back to Clovis. Uh, this time around, we are going to be hitting the Dry Creek Trail and the Enterprise Canal. Hey. 
Was that switch? Was that switch? Yeah.